A swearing-in ceremony at the Astana was filled with pomp and ceremony as Singapore welcomes its new head of state, Mr. Taman Shamugaratnam, and says goodbye to former President Madam Halima Yaakob. Well, messages of unity and hope were evident throughout the proceedings as the newly sworn-in president set out his agenda for his six-year term. Lauren Ong with more. <laughs> Anticipation kicking into high gear at around half an hour into the sunset. Five Guard of Honor contingents form in front of the Astana, signaling the start of the final farewell for Madam Halima Yaakob. Madam Halima walked out to the steps of the front porch with Prime Minister Lee Sin Long. PM Lee's wife, Madam Ho Ching, was absent from the ceremony as she is recovering from a respiratory infection. <music> Madam Halima walked through the line of honour, formed by the ordinary aide de camp. It includes officers from the armed forces, police and civil defence before heading up the saluting dais. The guard of honour is formed up and ready for your inspection, Madam. Singapore's top leaders watched on as Madam Halima inspected the Guard of Honour for the last time, a formality she has done many times as president when she welcomed world leaders at the Astana. Sanja! And then a final salute, capping her six years as the head of state. The melody of the song, Stand By Me, played in the background as Madam Halima said her goodbyes to cabinet ministers. As the band played the final notes of the song, a handshake with the Prime Minister. <music> Madam Halima gave a final wave before leaving the Astana. The night's proceedings also signaled a new beginning. Mr. Dharman Shamagaratnam arrived at the Astana and was greeted by PM Lee. They were then ushered to the saluting dais. Your Excellency, Mr. President-elect, the Guard of Honour is formed up and ready for your inspection, sir. Mr. Dharman then inspected the Guard of Honour for the very first time. Sanja! After the Guard of Honor contingent gave its presidential salute, Mr. Dharma made his way to the state room where the national anthem played for the third time. Raising his right hand and holding the affirmation with his left, I, Tharman Shadmugratnam, having... PM Lee congratulated Mr. Dharma and expressed confidence in him. I pledge my government's full support and cooperation in his first speech after being sworn in, Mr. Dharman says he's humbled to be elected as Singapore's ninth president. I will be scrupulous and independent. He also set out his priorities in serving the nation while emphasizing unity and respect for all. To commemorate the historic occasion, President Dharman had a picture taken with cabinet ministers, the Speaker of the House and the Chief Justice. Chinese President Xi Jinping says he's ready to work with Singapore President Tharman Chumgaratnam to promote better integration and mutual improvement of the modernization process in both countries. Mr. Xi made the remark in his congratulatory message as Mr. Tharman assumes office as Singapore's head of state. Britain's King Charles III has also sent his warmest best wishes to Mr. Tharman and the people of Singapore. He says he looks forward to building an ever stronger friendship between the two countries. King Charles notes that Singapore is a strategic partner for the United Kingdom with deep connections underpinned by the closest of economic and security ties. He says both are deeply committed to multilateralism and the partnership also brought to life by their extensive people-to-people -people links.